Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're gonna take a look at Cancer. Hey Cancer, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're gonna take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. I have a little pen, so I'm gonna use this because I don't feel like, obviously I don't want all the bulk and all this other stuff, right? And have the camera angled a different way. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. These reads are gonna be a little detailed, but you know, enough for you to know what's going on. All right, they're detailed. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. I pulled these five cards for you guys. We have the Nine of Cups that comes up for you first here. There is a need for you to ask yourself, what is it that you really want, all right? This card symbolizes you perhaps hitting a lotto, maybe meeting the correct person who's supposed to be in your life on the same day as hitting a lotto, right? Something like that. For some of you guys, these are wishes coming true for you. So this is a wish card with the Nine of Cups here, right? This is about abundance and health, everything working out. And I feel like that's at some point. Now, I don't know if this is past, present, future. If we look at the sequence, it does come up first. So I'm going to say it's probably the past, right? Something really great happened for you, or at least you thought. But then enters the teacher in this deck, which is a high four on. It comes out reverse here. Now, this is you. Even though you had this feeling of wishes coming true, I don't know if somebody came in and messed it all up for you. You know how energies are. They show up, they do all types of weird stuff, right? So this is you wishing to overthrow, even when things are great. Sometimes you just want to overthrow certain beliefs, certain traditions or something like that, right? It could be religion, ideology, ideology, uh, intellectual things or cultural things that maybe you don't like about your culture or I don't, I don't like this theory, I don't, whatever, right? So I feel like for some of you guys, this feeling is suffocating you in a sense, right? Now, for some of you, this is you wanting to live by your own code, your own philosophy. Not everybody else's philosophy, so I see that. But we do see who enters is this oppressive older person who offers you this advice that you didn't ask for. You're like, I didn't ask you that. But they don't care. They're going to keep giving you their opinion, and they're going to give you their advice. And you're being advised not to be deceived by whatever this person is offering you whatever nonsense in some cases they're offering you it doesn't make it right just because they're older so this person is using who they are to manipulate you i see that coming up invocation comes up in this deck also by the way guys what deck is this that i'm using it's called new chapter tarot i don't use it all the time because it's got all these weird you know untraditional not that i'm traditional but i sometimes you just you know so anyway we have invocation that comes up this is you guys needing to clarify exactly what it is you want exactly what your intentions are in a sense and your worthiness is going to be tested in some matter so i want you guys to look out because there's a test from you for some of you the test is i'm listening and i hear this older person but the advice that they're giving me doesn't seem correct so a and b is not equal in c here it's equal in like f or z something that just doesn't make any sense right so there's a need for you guys to really sift out whatever this older energy is telling you because your worthiness is being tested now i also see because you're considering whatever this person is saying there's something here with delays and glitches coming up <clears throat> that could actually get in your way here with the ace of swords reversed here this is causing you some kind of frustration it's causing you tension and it's causing you issues with manifesting exactly what it is you want. Now, along with this card comes some kind of loss and failure, all right? Now, this loss and failure that is looming, right, because it's coming up, is getting in your way of you manifesting exactly what you want. But it's also preventing you from taking some kind of action because... This person or this energy is causing you some kind of anxiety here, right? So you guys are being advised that you need to come up with a plan so that you can get your plan moving again. So I feel like, I don't know, sometimes you need to keep ideas to yourselves, maybe. Maybe there's something here that you guys don't need to display to this person or these people around you who keep giving you almost mixed signals. They're like, you know... If you do this, then that. It's almost like they're putting their fear out on you. So you guys want to be really careful about what this energy is telling you. Something like that. So you guys need to come up with a plan so that you can get your plans moving again. As long as it's on a straight and narrow, right? So we want to manifest good things. We don't want to manifest nonsense. And we don't want to live in the fear of other people. But we still want to be righteous, right? We do. As much as possible. None of us are perfect. So whatever plans you guys put into motion, you want to make sure that your intentions behind it are pure, all right? 
Now, we do have the Seven of Cups that comes up here for you guys. Now, for some of you, you are looking at a number of possibilities, whatever this is about for you. This has to do with energy. It has to do with fantasy. It has to do with imagination, right? Where am I going to apply my energy? Because you guys remember, you're being advised that you have to take some kind of action, but this is about your intention. For some of you, you have so many choices that it's hard for you to make a decision. However, one of the choices here is you listening to somebody that might have a serious pocketbook, meaning they have some kind of wealth or they have some kind of financial influence or something like that. You guys are being advised here that you really want to pay attention to that because I feel like whatever finances this is or something like that, this person or the person with the money could get in the way of what it is you want and what it is you're thinking. They may say to you, you know, if you do it this way, I'm not giving you any money. I'm not going to help you do this. I'm not going to help you do that. I'm not going to fund your project. You're not going to have my support. Some people find emotional support more important than finances. So if somebody who has the money in the finances says, if you don't do what I want, I'm going to take my support away from you. For some of you guys, that is detrimental and it could actually stop you from moving forward. So with that, I feel like for some of you guys, once you take this into consideration and ignore who is wealthy, who has the money, who has a ton of influence over you, even though you don't agree with what they're saying, then you're going to take some action. So I see that coming up for you guys. So don't let the wealth of others confuse you. And I think that's the moral of the story here. Just, I'm going to pull one card for you guys here. I'm going to pull one card. Not that it's advice or anything, but uh, maybe it is. We'll see. Cancer, show me what's up because I really don't want these to be long, right? I want them to be straight to the point. What does cancer need to know? What does cancer need to know or what is cancer focused on? Or tell me. Tell me about cancer. One card for cancer. <clears throat> the priestess. The priestess is about you guys having some... This is about family, too. Like I said before, you could be very family-oriented listening to somebody in your family, this oppressive older person. It says here, the priestess, be still and know. Listen to your hunches and intuitions. Be ready for solutions to seemingly unsolvable problems to appear. Be ready for solutions to unseemingly unsolvable problems to appear. So there are some solutions that are going to come up for you. The solutions are coming, guys, but you really want to pay attention to your intuition in this matter. All right? Don't listen to other people. Listen to your hunches, your intuition. There are some things that don't serve you anymore, like this teacher reversed. Those are things that don't serve you anymore. That is the A and B equal and Z. A and B does not equal Z. It does not. And even if somebody with money tells you that it does, it does not. So that's what you guys need to pay attention to. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. I love you guys and I'll see you at the next read. Bye.